set it up. Okay, so set up that problem. Okay, I'm going to make the lowest point here in my initial, somewhere up here, um, final, down here, lowest point, ground zero. That is going to be your go-to, your default, where should I start that, okay. So figure out what energies you need to cross off. Thumbs up when you figure out <clears throat> when you crossed off energies. Thumbs up when you crossed off energies. moving starts at ground there is work done by non to force you're still moving how fast and you're above ground zero you okay with that all right so you have one half mass times speed squared initial is the work done Positive or negative? 
Work done is negative. So I'm going to subtract the work done by non-conservative force is equal to one half mass times speed squared final plus mass times acceleration gravity times height final. How are we doing? Okay. Real quick, I am I am more concerned about the setup here than I am about you getting the answer at this moment in time. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so just pause from your calculations. Follow-up question. Can I cancel out masses? Can I cancel out mass? No. I don't have mass in this expression. Okay. Second question. Um, <clears throat> can Okay, so what are the units of 5,000? Newtons. Can I stick 5,000 in for work done by a non conservative force? What is the unit for work? Close. Joules. Okay. But that's a Newton. What is this? What was Newton's measured in? Newton's measure, force. How do I get force into work? Well, that's where this force parallel times distance, right? Okay. Do not stick 5,000 in here. Okay. This is the added layer of complexity. Okay, you need to put in minus negative work, uh, friction times distance. Does that make sense? I gave you a force. You need to find the work by multiplying by distance. Okay, so <clears throat> the question, so is, does that make sense? This is, you got to watch this, what I give you and what I don't. Okay. Um, here's a, a, another follow-up question. I've given you 100 meters. What is that? Where does that go? Does that go in distance? That, does that go in height? Does it go in neither? Or does it go in both? Have a conversation. So a hundred is your distance. Okay. This is how far up friction travels, 100 meters. Your height, you're going to have to draw this triangle to find your vertical distance above ground. Like it's the, it's the height, it's the elevation. Good with that. Okay. So what this is going to look like is this. So you will do one half times 2,000 kilograms times 40 meters per second. Square that minus 5,000 newtons times 100 ugh, times 100 meters okay it's equal to one half 
2,000 kilograms. Final speed squared is what I'm looking for. Plus 2,000 kilograms times 9.8 times height. The height is that. And you find that with sine 30 is equal to h over 100. When you do that, that ends up to be 50. So this is 50 meters here. That's your setup, or that's what the looks like in the numbers. Okay. After you do all that, you find that is 10.9 meters per second. Good with that. Okay. Last thing I want to point out <clears throat> big picture, I've talked about this a lot, or I've mentioned this a couple times. We have concocted, we've created this idea of work, this measurement of work to help us understand how force affects energy. Okay. Now, there are several different types of energy, and it's important to know how th those interact with type of forces. Okay, this we learned this way before we learned about conservative and non-conservative forces. This is the work done by all forces, whether conservative or non-conservative, doesn't matter. Okay, that's equal to the change in kinetic energy versus the work done by a non-conservative force, that's equal to how much mechanical energy changes by it. If a non-conservative force does work, mechanical energy is not conserved, it changes. How much does it change? Well, it's actually equivalent to how much work was done by that non-conservative force. Okay, on the lab, it is really important. I, I, uh, I press on this, this concept. Hey, which one are you gonna use? This one's going to tell you the work done by all forces. This is going to tell you the work done by just your non-conservative force. Okay? Work done by all forces, including gravity. Does not matter. Does not make a distinction between conservative or non-conservative. This does make a... This is a general equation. This is specific. Okay? Good with that. So watch yourself. on the lab. Okay. Sound good? All right. That's what I've got for you today. Got a worksheet.